back, back. Through a one, two, up, side step. Through a one, two, step back, step back forward. <laughs> On this video, I'm gonna give you six great drills that you can do on the heavy bag that will help you get better at boxing. And some of these drills really helped me have success when I competed in the 2008 Olympic Games, and I'm sure that they're gonna help you as well. Starting with number six, and this is working on single straight punches over and over again. Now, it might seem a little bit boring, I get that, but by just doing one round of this will really help you improve that punch. So example, if we start off with the jab, we're gonna throw one jab, then we're going to throw two jabs, then three, then four, then five, then six. Go all the way up to ten, and then reverse and come back down. So a little example of this. So one, two, three, four, and then once you get a ten, come back down. And then after you've done the jab, we go onto the hook. One hook, then from there two, then three, ba ba ba, and so on. Go through every punch that you can, and with the repetition, repetition, repetition of throwing them punches, that's what's going to improve them punches. Number five is thinking about defense after everything. Now, we're on a heavy bag, and luckily this guy is not throwing punches back at us, but I want you to visualize punches coming at you, so you're going to defend. So let's see if I throw a jab, I want to defend. Now, there's lots of different defenses in boxing. It could be a slip, it could be a block, it could be a step back a roll, a duck, a parry, whichever one you want to do. Now try them, try them all within a round. So I'm here, I threw a jab, I've slipped. I threw a jab, I've blocked. Through a one, two, I've sidestepped. Through a one, two, step back, step back forward. And just by visualizing this and doing this throughout your round will really help improve because now you're not going to be making any sloppy mistakes. Because let's say if you throw a jab and you bring it back down here, you're wide open for that one in a real boxing scenario. But now because you're thinking about defense, you're not going to throw that sloppy jab. So it's going to help you get into good habits. Moving on to number four is going to help you with a few things that beginners really struggle with. And that is keeping your hands up and breathing. And I would recommend you do this for the last round of your session and all we're going to do is punch the bag non-stop for that full round. Now you might be thinking non-stop for a full round that's impossible. Well yeah it would be if you were going <laughs> like full speed but no I don't want that. All I want is this. Now when you're doing this you're turning your hips, you're breathing, you're staying relaxed and you're building your shoulder endurance. Yes, it will get hard, but another thing you're gonna learn is how to pace yourself and get you through that full round. Absolute game changer. Moving on to number three, might feel very awkward for you if you're pretty new to boxing. And once you get over that awkwardness, it's gonna make you look like a pro and look like you really know what you're doing. And that is moving your head always before and after every punch. So rather than just here, I want head moving, punch. Head moving, punch. And then when you do it on the back, so I'm head moving, punch. Moving that head, punching. Moving that head, then throw the punches. Now we would use this in real boxing to keep your opponent thinking all the time, and as well make it much harder for you to hit. Kind of like a Mike Tyson who was always moving his head to keep his opponents thinking, and then he would come back with big counter punches. He used to do this in training and on the heavy bag, and that's what I want you to do. Practice this on the heavy bag. Moving on number two is perfecting the most awkward punch in boxing, which is the lead hook. And how we're gonna do this is by working on all three different ranges of the lead hook. We've got the short range, got the mid range, and we've got the long range. Now we would recommend working a full round on each one of them ranges of the punch. Now with this, for example, if you're working on the mid range hook, I would put the one, two in front of it, then throw it. But one thing to think about when you're throwing a one, two hook on a bag, you wanna shorten the two, because if I throw a long one, two, I'm not in a position to throw that hook. So you need to shorten it. One, two, it's short there. Then I can throw that hook. So work on that. One, two, hook. Reset, reset. One, two, hook. Working on good form, turning your hips, bringing your hands back near fist. Ba, ba, ba. And then once you've worked on the mid range, we can work on the short range. Ba, ba, ba. Then the long range. Ba, ba, ba. And the goal is with this and the other drills is think about it and then do it. Think about it, do it until you get to the point of being able to do it without having to think about it. Now, before we move on to the last one, which is probably the best one you can do and the most fun, I just want to see it. Do you want a step-by-step -step video package to improve all aspects of your boxing? From your jab to your cross, to the power of your punches, to the speed of your punches, to your footwork, to your head movement, to take you from looking like a beginner to looking like a professional. Well, you 
can with my Be A Better Boxer video package. The link is below. And if you use code TJ50, you will save $50 off this package. I put everything I know into this video package to help you become the very best boxer you can be. Whether you're looking to do this just for fitness or you want to do this to compete at the very highest level. Click the link below and check out my Be A Better Boxer video package. I will really help you become the very best version of yourself. Now, let's get back on with the video. Okay, let's get into number one. Now, this one is work on one combination at a time for a full round. I'm going to give you three different examples of combinations that you can work on. And what this is going to do, it's not only going to get you to learn how to throw this one combination better, but all of the punches that you throw in that combination, it's going to help you be able to throw them individual punches better as well, if that makes sense. The first one is a double jab to the body. Now I'm going to show you how to throw it. I'm going to show you what pace I think you should do your full round in with this. So you throw that double jab. As the second jab comes back to the face, you're going to bend your knees, change your levels and throw that to the body. Ba, ba, ba. Now as for what pace you should be doing these, I would recommend this. So I'm here, moving around, moving around, thinking, relaxing, breathing, that little bit of head movement in between like we said earlier on. Then again, ba, ba, ba. Just like that. So we're not going 100 mile an hour. We're not getting exhausted because when you start getting exhausted, that's when you start making mistakes and getting into bad habits. So keeping it nice and relaxed. Example combo number two is a jab, slip forward to your weight on your front foot, then throw that hook. Jab, slip, hook. Now why this combo is great because you're going to obviously improve your jab and then your slip, your defense, but also your range getting in that perfect range to throw that lead hook. So it's a jab, slip, bump, hook. And moving on to number three was going to be a one, two, side step, two, cross to the body. Now with this, we're using that side step to change angles, which is more advanced than probably anything we've done on this video. And when you do change that angle, you want to make sure you're back in that boxing stance to throw that two to the head, then hook to the body. It is more advanced, but maybe you're ready for the advanced combos. And if you are, you should click here and watch this video next, where I give you six advanced heavy bag combinations. Way more advanced than these six. Click here and watch this video next.